Hello and welcome. Today's match is something that happened a few hours ago, at least a few hours from the time this video was posted. Uh, I didn't quite have footage that I liked enough to post today, so I figured I would go do a match. And because I haven't done anything in carriers for quite a while, well, I decided to try a match in the Hakuryu. Surprisingly, well actually this isn't quite the first one, there was another one, but this one was a bit better, I mean, we, the result was a bit better, and for some reason the enemy has a Taiho, and it's not like I waited the whole five minutes, it was, one, it was in the middle of the day for my server, and two, the queue timer was only like two minutes, which is really bizarre, and it's a Hakuryu against the Taiho. Anyways, whatever. This match is on the map Two Brothers, and uh, well, I think we have a slight advantage in the ships, but not really that much. I mean, they could definitely win. They have a Des Moines, a Gehring, and a Shimakaze. And the Yamato is better in 1 vs 1 against the Montana. Anyways, I launched my torpedo bombers first, die bombers second, and then fighters. My plan was to go towards the decap to uh, see whether somebody caps, and if, if they do, then try to strike. And the Shimakaze was capping, so I do my first strike on the Tsekamashi. Sadly, I was. Uh, Trop wasn't too great. I was hoping for a kill, but the torpedoes hit the front of the Shimakaze, so she took less damage than expected. And sadly, I wasn't able to finish her off. But it's okay, at least I uh, stopped the cap and damaged the uh, destroyer pretty heavily. I tried to follow up with a die bomber attack, because maybe I'll get lucky and it'll hit and uh, destroy it. I also brought my fighters along, because I figured the enemy fighters were there, and they were, but then I saw that I had finished my drop already, so there was no point in continuing. So I simply pulled them back to, well, defend my ship, because... I saw some dive bombers flying around, so maybe it's dangerous. I tried to use my second dive bomber to on another destroyer, but I don't understand. Dive bombers against destroyers never work out for me, they always miss. I don't understand what black magic other people do who say that those hit hard. But anyways, uh, actually dealing that much damage to the Shimakaze is really useful because it it pretty much takes the Shimakaze out from doing something uh, extremely dangerous for us, like um, rushing towards a battleship because, well, she will die immediately. And I will, uh, well, well, it would be useful if I could use my fighters to brush off attacks again from the Taiha, I really am not in position with them to do so. I'm more interested in fighting the Taiha straight up with my fighters and defending my ship so I can do better drops myself because I think it's necessary for me to be more offensive than defensive in this match. So now that my torpedo bombers are up, I pull my fighters again towards the torpedo bomber so they can cover and my plan is to target one of the battleships here, a Tirpitz would be preferable especially one that wasn't near a cruiser Group seven, maintaining present course. the dive bombers, well, I could do something with them but I'm not very good at it I want to do the drop immediately because I imagine one of the fighters was using their ability oh, both of them were well, I attacked one of the fighters, well, both of them, really. The Terpitz is anti-air isn't that dangerous, and on top of that it's a Taiho and only has uh, four fighters, while mine have five. 
Sadly, there's a Yamato close to my second group, so my second group literally lost to the Taihas. Which is okay because this means that my fighters spawn in, at the ship. And now my dive bombers will follow up on the dead bits to try to set her on fire. Sadly, my fighters ran out of ammunition and couldn't kill that last group. Oh well. It happens. At least I was able to do a decent strike on the dead bits. We have the cap lead, so keeping the status quo is good enough at this point. Although we have few forces at the A cap. I don't understand. Recently, I my dive bombers, when I've tried using them, I have done some uh, bot matches. They hit, but they don't set things on fire, and that feels so unfortunate. I will try to cover my friendly Montana, because I think uh, this... I told this Mogami to back off quite some time ago, and he still hasn't. Well, it's nice that we can keep the decap for longer because of it, I think he is being in a too dangerous spot. As I've done a few uh, torpedo bomber attacks on the left side now, in a row, I think it would be useful to go on the right side now. I don't think the uh, Taiho will expect me to do so. Also, I want to cover this Mogami. Oh, I saw the Shimakaze. I decide to immediately notify people, just in case maybe the Mogami doesn't realize. And somebody else finished the Shimakaze, which is really good. But I also spotted a Fubuki, and I would like to keep her spotted. At least for as long as possible. When the fighters arrive from the enemy carrier, I will have to pull back, but until then, I try to keep the Fubuki visible, at least a little bit. While I assemble my torpedo bombers on the other side to hit the Amagi. We'll probably get overrun at the ACAP soon, because, uh, well, we just don't have enough ships on that side. We need them on the other side. I keep going back and forth with my fighters and pulling them back when the enemy fighters engage, because I only have one fighter, he has two, he will definitely win. But this keeps his fighters busy and it keeps the Fubuki spotted for a while. I do wish, in these kinds of circumstances, that the interface was faster, that I could do more clicks. Sadly, there was a Des Moines here, but luckily I uh, I reacted more or less quickly, so I didn't lose too many of my bombers. And I didn't actually lose any of them, which is really good. But I mean, I never got within a few kilometers, so it's okay. The dive bombers are... well, I don't really know what to do with them. With torpedo bombers, I will wait until the... ability of the Des Moines wears off and then strike at the Amagi. Or alternatively, until the Des Moines is far enough. I think it should be fine now. But I do need to bring my carrier away into the middle because both sides of the enemy are pushing, so it's a bit unfortunate. It seemed like a good drop, but now that I see the turning of the Amagi, it was poor because only one of the groups hit and the other one completely missed. It's okay though, because I have dive bombers, so I will just set the Amagi on fire. Luckily, the Amagi has a shorter. Uh, immunity after the damage control part is used, so it's a bit easier. Right now I'm a bit worried because I think my ship might be shot at, because I think I am within weapons range and detection range. Yeah, I definitely am. It should be 15.7 and these are at 15.4. Luckily there's an island in the way. And fires were set, 
Okay, I can see enemy dive bo torpedo bombers incoming, so I will move to try to intercept, but I don't think I will manage. I think they will be able to do a drop on one of the battleships, the Iowa for instance. But at least I will be able to keep my Montana safe, and the Iowa was low HP anyway, so it's not that bad. And I managed to get an attack on the fighters, which is good. Actually, using the third group to attack this fighter here is a mistake. I should have uh, saved the ammo completely and only used the other one, and then sent the other one to resupply. But I kind of messed up. Oh well, I'll try to fix that for the next time. I guess this Des Moines should be a good target now because he doesn't have his a bit. Oh my god, there's a Gehring. Well, I guess I will be trying to hit this one. Haven't really played carry as much with this patch, so. I'm kind of unsure of how well this would work out. The enemy team has taken the lead. Well, first one hit, but it was kind of a poor hit. Only 4,000 damage. Let's try to do a better one next. Sadly, both groups lost one torpedo bomber to the Gehring's anti-air. Which is okay, I guess. Still though, kind of surprising. I guess he didn't actually focus when both of them died then. Well, this one is from the back and this one will be from the side, but I think I kind of messed up here. I think I dropped too close with the second group. Yeah, definitely, as you could see, one torpedo was too close. Well, I guess I am kind of rusty. The important part is to keep defending my Montanas with fighters. I mean, I might, I won't be doing a hundred percent job, but something is better than nothing. Right now, this is fine, even if the fight is engaged, because I have Montana and Tier here, so the fighters really don't want to engage. While they have three cap points, we have such a points lead that it's okay as long as I don't die. At least I think it should be okay. I think at this point, this one, if I drop correctly, should be able to finish this. Yeah, I don't see how the Gehring is gonna wriggle himself out of this one. Actually, he would have survived if both of those hadn't hit, so that's surprising. I sent third I sent the third group back to resupply because the first one I mean the second one takes over defense of the Montana. But the points I managed to do a torpedo evasion by uh, well winning the game just like that other guy on Reddit did. I'm glad I didn't get hit because that would have been costly. I didn't get that many that much experience, only 2100 base experience, but that's okay, I guess. I uh, dealt a heavy blow to the Taiha on the enemy team. That is, I didn't kill him, but I managed to offset, I managed to make him unable to play what he wanted to play, so it was okay. I only did like 100k damage, but I did hit quite a bit of destroyers. So, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and thanks for watching. Also, thanks for listening to my rambling.